Hi everyone. I uh, just want to do a, a pretty quick video hopefully. Um, just I guess to explain why I'm probably taking the time to do some videos that are kind of probably, uh, they're a little bit silly, but huge, huge fun um, about, you know, this parroting the drama on YouTube and talking about superheroes and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think it's really important for, for a number of reasons. Um, sort of getting involved. Um, I think number one, so important. Um, and, and I guess why I guess I wanted to put it in context because it's like that's not really what this channel is about. But it is in a way because it's it's what I'm about. Because for me, I've been I've had fibromyalgia for 27 years. You know, I first got sick when I was 20. And um, halfway through my degree, really fit, really healthy, and super active, all of that stuff. And it changed my life completely. Good, but good and bad, you know. But one of the things I've really had to come to terms with, and one of the ways it changed me for the better, um, that I still struggle with, but I had to learn to laugh at myself. Um, because there's no way you can go through every day in pain, sometimes agony pain, um, without laughing at yourself. Because if you don't, what's well, the other option? And I've been at the other end, you know, where I didn't think I could get out of bed. And I didn't want to get out of bed. And I didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't think I could stand it another day. And I don't want that, you know, I didn't want that anymore. And I'm not, thankfully, haven't been in that space for a long time. And my pain levels are quite low now, which is great. Um, they're still there, but they're background pain. So, um, <laughs> what was I saying? You have to laugh at yourself. You have to laugh at yourself because when you have pain and when you have brain fog and any sort of brain involvement, you've, got to, you've seen the stupid things I do, right? I mean, I say stupid, but the strange things, you have to laugh at yourself. So that's why some of these videos that may seem, what has that got to do with your channel? It has to do with the attitude of this channel and laughing at yourself and not taking myself seriously. That is so important, it keeps me sane. <laughs> sane. <laughs> it me level, and that's so important because otherwise the stress and overwhelm will take over. And you know what? i got so much going on right now, so much going on. Getting my gallbladder out in nine days. Um, and after that, I've got to recover. I don't know how long that'll take. Um, then I need a sleep study done. Um, I have to get, it's an overnight, then another day sleep study to see if I can <laughs> pass a narcolepsy test. Um, and I can't study for that one. If I can start, I've got an exam this Saturday for my biostatistics and epidemiology subject. I can study for that. I can't study for the narcolepsy one. So if I, can, if I do pass that though, the medication I'm on that keeps me awake during the day, because um, my restless legs medication knocks me out, I have to take this other one to keep me awake. But it's really expensive. So if I pass the narcolepsy test, it'll be a more, much more affordable. So that's worth doing. And also I may have narcolepsy, we'll, we'll see, I don't know. So I've got to do that, but I've got to go off that medication for two weeks prior, so... Feel like crap, and I won't be able to drive either because I just fall asleep like that. So, I'm gonna schedule that in. Then, what else I gotta do? I have to see start seeing a physio because now I've had the cortisone injection in my shoulder with the bursitis that's settled down. So, I have to start seeing a physio while I'm pain free and get that going. Mm. This Saturday night, big night out, getting a brain MRI. <laughs> I know. Um, so that's happening because I keep getting these kind of weird mm, neurological episodes. Apparently they're a migraine where triggered by noises, flashy things, 
uh, you know, like gifts and or just flashy strobe things, high pitch noises, uh, temperature, like I can get overheated all of a sudden, which of course I get more now because my thyroid is um, hormones are too low because uh, I forgot to take thyroxin. Um, it's in the fridge and I kind of forget it, so I take that. Uh, and all sorts of other things set them off. A sudden shock, you know, if someone comes up behind me and touches me, I go, ah, that'll set it off. So different things. I flew back when I got the flu injection the other week, that set it off. And I slur, um, I can't, I can't walk, I can't hold a, a muscle, total muscle weakness. And I do involuntary hand moves, and it's really, it freaks people out. I have to carry a card around with me for when it happens outside. So I'm going to have a brain MRI to get to the bottom of that a bit more and see a neurologist later in the year. So there's that. And yeah, some other stuff. So with all of that going on, and uni coming up, my performance review coming up in September, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get my upgrade from the master's to the PhD. So keep things going uh, with all of that comes to the next reason why I've been getting involved in these videos because there's just times I've found over the years that I need to channel my inner Wonder Woman and by the way this t-shirt it's only a few years old it's it's just a a transfer that I sent to the company to um, to get this design printed on. It's not from the 70s, but I am from the 70s. Um, and I grew up watching Linda Carter as Wonder Woman, and I thought she was the best. I thought she was great. And I love Wonder Woman. Yeah, Where's Wonder Woman. Where's Wonder Woman pen? Oh, I have a pencil case, but it's 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 over there. And um, it's Bubblehead. Bubblehead. All right. So. Sometimes it's a, but it's a metaphor that I really relate to, you know, that idea when there's a lot going on, which there is right now, channeling your inner Wonder Woman. And, you know, sometimes I'll just throw this logo up on my Facebook profile when things are rough and that just triggers me to think, yeah, I can do it. So channeling your inner Wonder Woman, that just means drawing on your inner strength, not really having to rely on other people to boost you. That's not to say that support from your family, friends, partner, the people that care about you isn't important. It is. It's really important. But not everyone has a great support system. Um, and the most important person that can care for you is yourself. That's because you're the one who can control that. So channeling your inner Wonder Woman is about giving yourself a boost. And doing whatever works for you to do that and so for me sometimes it's just making a bit more effort with my appearance some earrings or makeup I don't wear makeup but wearing lipstick that would be a huge effort but it would make me feel better you know or you know really putting effort into my outfit to color coordinate and my shoes little things I can do that just make me feel better, especially when I'm having an awful day. Um, you know, trying to make my hair nice, which I haven't at the moment and needs to cut, but stuff like that. Um, singing, um, whatever, just channeling yourself, energy on yourself to make yourself lifting yourself and We've all got that. You know, I've been sick for 27 years and I've, you know, many times had to lift myself up from times when it's been really tough. Um, and, you know, times when it's been really good. And, you know, this sort of illness, there's lots of ups and downs. Lots of ups and downs. But it's, it's kind of just always knowing that you know, we've got that strength inside us, you know. I know for me, I, I haven't gone through 27 years of being in pain and not become incredibly strong from it. It's impossible not to. You know, I'm one of the strongest people you can meet. 
it's I'm incredibly strong and I know that um, a lot of that's inner strength and I can draw on that when I need to um, most of the time I'm very quiet reserved until I need to and then walk out um, as some of you may know but we've all got it it's just drawing on it and finding a way to draw on it because it's there anyone who's been through anything tough and there's always you know particularly if you're watching me watching this channel you've been through something you know what I'm talking about and drawing on that and knowing that you've got that in you you've got an inner Wonder Woman or Superman whatever it is but for me it's Wonder Woman and even just thinking of that metaphor triggers me to feel better instantly and that's just what it's about it doesn't take a lot I even just take sometimes just putting on the t-shirt you know what's great about Wonder Woman too she doesn't need a cape a superhero she's just got like she can, like, pretty cool outfit doesn't need all the fancy stuff because it's all inside all the power you know and the stuff it's all inside doesn't need the accessories like other superheroes oh, I mean. Supergirl. Superwoman. Yes. Yes. you know I think having a cape is in a bit Being superheroes all about. I'm not sure you've uh, understood the concept of superheroes, but good on you. Uh, tense. Um, Wonder Woman and I, I think, get it. We get it. It's all about uh, that X factor, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Some have it, some don't. And uh, when you channel your inner Wonder Woman, that's drawing on that, your own X Factor. So, see what I did there? Well, I'm starting to ramble. Um, it's probably because it's uh, 5 past 12 at night and I need to go to bed. Because so I've got to go in to see my supervisor tomorrow. And it's a big drive. And we've got uh, Australia's biggest morning tea tomorrow. And I made three batches of cookies today. And... So, uh, a lot longer than I wanted to make this video, but I hope that that was um, useful. And um, so, yeah, if you if you see any more references to this um, whole idea, um, yeah, I'd love to hear how anyone else is, I guess, finding their own inner Wonder Woman. And please, please share that. Okay, you have a good day a good night and um from us here at the the justice league we'll see you later all your superheroes <laughs>